Dave, what have they seen so far? Well, we actually saw Detroit police uh, about to seize one of those vehicles, not legal for the road. Our camera's right there as we were shooting our story, so police aren't messing around. You know, police and the business community, they all say, most people say, okay, you want to get out, you want to hit the road, you want to have some fun, but certain vehicles are legal and others, not so much. Police in action in front of Fox 2 cameras on Belle Isle Sunday, cracking down on ATVs and certain rides that cops say are illegal on city streets. This comes after a chaotic weekend last Sunday, resulting in police subduing a man who had also been tased. Investigators say he hit a squad car with an ATV. I feel like it's kind of a nuisance to where I'm living and it's just very loud at night and it's causing a disturbance. That's just some of the complaints from downtown residents like Emma Stevenson, who welcomes the DPD ATV crackdown. It's getting pretty crazy, pretty outrageous. Um, just doesn't really look good on the city, to be honest. Because they can just spiral out of control and cause a big mess that can hurt someone. Chef Shamar Mitchell runs Great Lakes Burger and Pizza Bar in Greektown, right where the police had their hands full, taking on some reckless riding, according to witnesses. It's activity similar to what's become known as Sunday Fun Day. There's lots of footage of it in the Fox 2 archives. I, mean, I think the ATVs is cool, it's fun. You know, we all have fun at that age, you know, but it's a safety hazard. You know, so just making sure that the pedestrians are safe, the other vehicles that surround them are safe. Last month, police said they are putting up $250 cash rewards for info that leads to ATVs and other off-roading rides on city streets being confiscated. It's part of a broader effort to make downtown safer. Downtown is downtown. You know, what are we going to do? You know, all we can do is embrace what's going on, try to police it, you know, make sure there's a family atmosphere. Let's just have fun and enjoy life together. And Detroit police have a special place for all of those seized ATVs, a certain impound garage area, certainly. And from what we understand, there's room for more. They're going to be out again on those patrols. Meantime, we do know Detroit police are working with their state and federal partners as it relates to keeping everybody safe for Memorial Day weekend and pretty much everything else this summer. We're live tonight along Belle Isle, Dave Kinchin, Fox 2 News. Dave, it's a very complex issue. On one end, it's illegal. On the other end, people are going to ride their ATVs. I'm sure, um, well, I'm curious, have you heard about any discussions about creating a designated area for people to conduct this activity? Yeah, it's one of the big questions. Certainly a lot of uh, groups, clubs, if you will, they're looking for something like that. So there are some talks that are ongoing, but certainly police say it's not complex on their end. If you're riding on city streets, they're just going to enforce the law. That's their word on it.